book 239. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about the worms frozen in permafrost for 46,000 years. That's right. The worms frozen in permafrost for 46,000 years. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in the area of the Earth that we call Russia today, a group of scientists from the Institute of Physical, Chemical, and Biological Problems in Soil Science found two roundworm species in the Siberian permafrost frozen at a depth of around 131 feet. After throwing these worms out, the scientists used radiocarbon analysis of the plant material in the sample to determine how long these worms had been frozen. It was determined that the worms had been frozen inside the permafrost for some 46,000 years. The worms, it appeared, had placed themselves into a cryptobiotic state. Organisms in a cryptobiotic state can endure the complete absence of water or oxygen and withstand high temperatures as well as freezing or extremely salty conditions. Another group of scientists had revived worms who were in a cryptobiotic state for several decades and they wondered if they could revive worms frozen for 46,000 years. As soon as they began attempting to revive them, a strong gust of wind began blowing within the lab and it quickly turned into a small whirlwind. The scientists looked on in shock as the whirlwind twirled for several minutes, blowing papers, pens, and test tubes around the room. Then the winds died down, and where the winds died, there now stood an old man, who was one of my ancestors no less, wearing the skin of a woolly mammoth and holding a staff made from its tusk. Stop, the old man warned. You know not what it is that you seek to do. Those are no mere worms you have there. They are Xenon and Yugstaf. The old man then explained that Xenon and Yugstaf were twins, and they were also powerful sorcerers who lived many millenniums ago. In the beginning, they worked alongside the old man to protect the realm of humanity from the evil entities that existed just outside of our dimension. However, the twin sorcerers one day allowed the desire for more power to enter their hearts. They not only wanted the power to protect the realm of humans, but they also wanted the power to utterly destroy the evil entities that existed. The desire to utterly destroy, however, opened them up to be drawn in by the dark magic which exists. And over time, they sought out the forbidden books of the god Tehuti so that they could increase their strength. Finding the forbidden book, they began practicing the dark spells, and slowly, their minds were infected with the poison of evil intent. Their desire to destroy the evil entities soon became the desire to destroy all of humanity as well. After all, evil was present within humanity also. The old man found out their wicked schemes and he battled them with magic for 100 years straight and only after much destruction was caused on the earth he was able to transform the two twins into worms and bury them deep beneath the permafrost of Russia. Zenon and Yukstov have become too powerful to kill so he settled on eternal imprisonment in a state between life and death. The scientists, however, not believing that magic and sorcery was real, lied and said that they would place the worms back in the permafrost. But as soon as the old man turned his back, one of them poured water on the worms and the two of them began to wiggle and move. When he realized what they had done, the old man was aghast and he knew he needed to go find help because the foolish scientists had unleashed Xenon and Yukstaf on the earth once again. The old man disappeared in another whirlwind and the scientists went back to their discovery. And unbeknownst to humanity, they were about to suffer dearly for the arrogance of the scientists. And so, the morning motivation of today is the worms frozen in permafrost for 46,000 years. Just because you can do a thing does not mean that you should. And sometimes things which have been buried should be allowed to stay buried. Today, remember why it is that you buried certain behaviors from your past and recall why you left certain thought processes in your past. Do not turn back to the evil and wicked ways you were delivered from. Instead, fully embrace the new and better you and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books by the author Matthew Daniels, search Matthew Daniels on Amazon or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.